Tonight, the search is on for the driver who hit and killed a pedestrian over the weekend. Instead of stopping to help, simply drove off. This happened on Dickerson Pike, considered to be one of the most dangerous roads for pedestrians in Nashville. News 2's My Owen spoke with the victim's brother, who is urging the driver to come forward. Well, Anthony Pomba's family is still coming to terms with what happened here. Investigators urging anyone with video or information to please come forward after they found no witnesses here at the scene. Hardly a day went by when Anthony didn't walk along Dickerson Pike. And it's where he was Saturday when police say a black car struck him near Sunset Drive. The impact so strong, Anthony hit another car before being found. The driver had fled. Obviously, it's been um, a tough pill to swallow, I would say. Anthony's brother says this walk was normal for him. He lived in a group home um, off of uh, Larkspur for probably the last nine, ten months. And uh, yeah, he, he walked around there often. Dickerson Pike has long been a trouble spot for speeding traffic and pedestrian deaths. Just steps away from where Anthony was found. This cross covered in roses sits as a reminder of another soul lost on this street. Unfortunately, you know, working on, um, on Dickerson Road there the last, um, it's been almost two years we've been in that location. I know of at least three times previously where the police have been to our office to look at our surveillance videos and stuff because of other hit and runs. Obviously, something's got to change. Today, Metro Police still looking for the suspect as the family hopes whoever did this will turn themselves in. Anthony was a kind soul, um, was always there to help anybody. He just had a, a way about him that um, animals and people just gravitated towards him. He was, uh, he was full of life. Saying this is a sign for others to slow down in this area. Really, please keep a lookout for... Um, the description of the vehicle and come forward with any info they may have. Pomba was not in the crosswalk at the time of the crash and street lights were operational. Reporting in Nashville, my Owens, News 2. Now, Metro Police say the car involved in this incident is missing a passenger side mirror, and this marks 10 pedestrian deaths in Davidson County just this year. At this rate, advocates say we are set to outpace last year's number when 275 pedestrians were involved in some kind of crash in Nashville.